women we like to look beautiful right we spend a lot of time um, for makeup ourself, yeah good yeah. ourselves going to the gym going to the salon um, and then hair. why why do we do that because it, it for self worth right first is why we want to look beautiful because it makes us feel good feel good yeah uh, we want to attract the opposite sex diba? we also want to um, we want to cover also our the flaws in our face. Diba? <laughs> if you have pigment age, if you're a golfer, you, you you need those um, good foundation concealer. to co yeah, concealer yeah. to cover all those <laughs> We know that. Yeah. So we spend a lot of those things, a lot of time to improve ourselves. Money too. Time yeah. and money. Time and money, and sometimes it's also an effect of our um, something deeper inside that's painful, and so you you try to cope with the difficulties by. You know, going to the salon, going to the gym. That's why a lot of people they spend hours and hours working out because they're very unhappy inside. They're beautiful yeah. outside, but um, they're broken inside. And so this book, Ikaw Nang Maganda, how to be beautiful inside and out. It I, I first gave tips on how to put makeup because I'm a makeup artist. Oh. I studied at Frank Wow, oh, yeah. <laughs> So that's just the bait. It's talented. It's just yeah. really the bait. It's for women to just pick up the book and oh, we have tips on, on how to put makeup. But then it gets deeper and deeper towards the end because you um, you realize your your self worth, the reasons why you want to look beautiful, and then this is the most intriguing part. And I spend a lot of time writing this chapter on. What makes us ugly? What makes us ugly? And, and, and became, it became so natural, you know, when I was writing it. Because we're naturally sinners. We're naturally ugly inside. We can look so beautiful outside, but inside we're ugly. We're, we like to gossip. I mean, nature of women in general. We're manipulative. We like, we, it's hard for us to respect our husbands. It's really an effort, diba? Right? And sometimes we do, we respect the husband, but grumbling inside so so submission so i discussed about submission and submission is really about a heart issue you you submit because god commands us to submit to our husband not because of them because if it's because of them we cannot especially if your husband is unlovable and yeah so so um what makes us ugly also is when we are stingy when we are manipulative we like to manipulate Gems. yeah we, we yeah, jealousy also. They saying the head is the husband, but then we are the neck. We like to control. <laughs> yeah. And it's very hard to step back when you're so used to it. And usually, if your parents are, your mom is also like that. Very strong, um, domineering, controlling. And tendency is we, if we grew up with a mom like that, we also become like that. And this is what pushes the husbands away. And so, um, I think the, the reason why the, the Bible writes, Two things for the women is to respect and to submit, and for the husband, the man is to love, because men find it hard to to show love. You know, they feel it, but they have a hard time showing love. But expressing and women, it, yeah, yes. expressing it. I think it's a macho thing. Right. It's a culture thing also, and for women, the man, um, we have difficulty doing this because we think we're better than them. Eh? Diba? We think that. Their decision is not as good as ours. <laughs> most of the most of the time, we would insist on what we want. Although yeah. Karen and I are good, no? Oh yes. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we're, we're, yeah. not, well, we're submissive. We're so submissive. No, we're so submissive. So, <laughs> we're nice. We're hubbies. Yeah. Diba? We let them when we're yeah. sleeping. <laughs> so submission is something that is not natural. It's something that you need to learn. And it's not being, submission is not being uh, like a servant. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean like you're going to be like a mat that they will yes, step right, on. Right. Um, submission actually in the Bible says that you are to submit to one another. Diba? You are to respect to one another. Kaya lang, um, husband and wife were created equally in the eyes of God, but different roles. Right. The husband is the president. The, womb, the wife is the vice president. Different roles, but equally created in the eyes of God. So I think that's what we some women do not realize. We feel na parang just because we are the vice president, parang they, they step on us, yeah. or parang under, yeah. ganyan. Yeah. Yeah. Abuse you. yeah, and so that's the, the reason why um, we like to stress, we like to um, assert our our efforts, diba? or what we want, is because of that. Because of that, husbands are the leaders, and we think that we are better than them. Because the society by itself is, you know, it's always the men are really yeah. the 
more that's why there's really no equality that's yes right. uh -huh. so well that's only the role but in the eyes of god equally created yes. and and what is the role the role of the husband is to to love the wife to be the leader the spiritual leader of the family raise the kids knowing god provide for the family that's very important and then for women naman, we are to submit and then respect and then we take care of our kids diba? and when you look at men and women they're so opposite eh? but when you put them together they gel so what what you don't have the husband has so you learn from him what you what he doesn't have you have it so he learns from you and that's why opposite attract okay. each other but it's really good and you just imagine if two people, a boy and a, a man and a woman, is both, let's say, stingy. Nothing so, so nothing will happen. You will not learn from each other. But usually one is generous and then the one yes. is tight. Yeah. So you learn to, to open your palm and to give more because you see it from your husband. And the husband sometimes can be too, um, too generous. Loose, yeah. too generous. Yes. So they learn also to, to, um, to be more wiser in their spending. Right. So what? At, but the um, the beauty is how we can be beautiful inside and out. There's a verse that says, um, "The fruit of the spirit, love, joy, love, joy, peace, patience, peace, patience self-control, kindness." Mm -hmm. So this, when you think about it, that God requires us about five or six lang, six lang characteristics, di ba? Amen. Nine, yeah. nine, ba? Oh, nine. Oh, <laughs> well, compared to the what makes us ugly, marami. Ah, marami. Yeah, because we, we're naturally talagang evil in the eyes of God, all of us. But then when you come to know the, this verse, and he requires only just to be kind, to be generous, but it's so hard to do. Right? <laughs> and it's difficult for us to change. We cannot change apart from God, apart from Jesus. Um, because the Bible says that... Um, because we are naturally wicked, we need a savior. So it's Jesus only who can transform Save. our life. So no, no matter how tr how much you try to change, like every January, diba, you have this, uh, parang New Year's resolution. <laughs> like your husband will tell you, magbago ko na ugali. You change your uh, character. You're so snooty. You're so stingy. I don't like your attitude. You know. And then you get offended. And you say, you kaya. You, you're so you you're worse, worse, you're, you're, liar. Worse, you're, you're a liar, you're, you're a womanizer, and all that stuff. But we can't accept when we are being corrected. And no matter how we, much we try to change, we will always be like that. But when we come to know God and put Him in the center of our lives and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, something happens. There's really change. And then that's when the harvest comes. Right? Today we're, we're harvesting, harvesting, diba? Right? So we, we also want to pass this legacy to our children. Because if you don't change, you will see your children. Also, if you, if you, your ugliness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and most of the time, you see your, yourself, yourself in, oh, my daughter, she's doing exactly what, yeah. what I'm doing, what I don't like about myself, what my husband tells me. Right. And I see it. Or sometimes you see from your father the, the things that you don't like about your father, and then you end up, oh, I'm sounding like my father. But you can cut that. You can cut. It's a, you call it the generational curse. You can cut it, and you can be a better person only if God is present in your life. And once you do that, it will. You will see changes. You will harvest. You will harvest talagang so many changes in your children. Your children will before because my kids were before I really came. To, you know, started to know God and write all of this. I was very snooty. You know, I I grew. <laughs> You know, the, the Tantokos and the Chongsons, we, we, kasi once upon a time, in the olden times, our families were very wealthy in Malolos, Bulacan. So, and then I have Spanish uh, roots also. Yeah. And, and we're also Chongson. In fact, we come from, we trace it back to the 1600 and we come from Chinese emperor. So, the, the, can you see the, the passing yes. on of the, the character? And so we, we're proud, very proud. And my husband and I separated, and he would always tell me that my, you know, my character is is not nice, and I get offended. But then later on, I realized that there are so many things that really I needed to change. Truth <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> hurts. You know what? Truth hurts. Yeah. But I couldn't change. I couldn't change even if I wanted to. I go to church every day, to hear mass every day, every day. 
Did I change? No. It was became a religion. It became a, it's a just habit. a ritual, just yeah, a habit. Ritual. You know, thinking that I will change, but I couldn't. Until one day, somebody shared to me that you know, Malu, not until you confess with your mouth that Jesus is your Lord and Savior, and you save Him in your heart, and then He enters into your heart. That's the only way you can change. Otherwise, you will still be the same. It's not enough that you know. Mm -hmm. He has to be in your heart. So what I did was just a simple prayer. And I just said, okay, Lord, I surrender. I want to change. My husband has left me. I've been separated for 11 years now. Yeah. yeah. And so um, I, I feel bad because I saw changes now. But he's not yeah. there anymore to see the changes. But God is That's doing. Okay. That's easy. Yeah, but God is doing a lot of things now. So even the writing of books and speaking engagements. And so that's it. Who I am today is really by the grace of God because before I was really ugly no, inside. It's not for your husband. It's yeah. for a bigger. Yeah. Bigger and my husband was just the tool. Yeah. Yeah. He was just the tool. That's why he to be married is good because through your husband, you change it. It's our husband who will tell us what's yeah. not nice about us. Yes, the, be the months will be open and it yeah. will be very upfront. Yeah. The guys are more upfront. They, they can tell you. Yeah. So my, my challenge to you now is that I don't want to leave this place without sharing to you. If, if you also have that, you know, maybe you're also tired of where you are now. Uh, maybe you want to have, you're looking for something that you don't know, maybe unhappy somewhere. Um, if you will just receive Jesus today as your Lord and Savior, you will experience something different. Really, it's, it's life changing. Something supernatural will happen to you. And you will see things from a different perspective. Before, kasi parang you see, you're very judgmental. Ah, yung tao na yan. Ah, ano yan eh. Maarte yan eh. You know, sometimes we're so quick to judge a person. But then, when you receive Jesus, parang your mouth is zip. You can't say bad things anymore. You can't curse. You can't, you can't criticize. Kasi there's, there's this... Um, strong uh, voice and, in your yeah. mind that tells you it's the Holy Spirit telling you that it's not right so it gets louder and louder so and that's when you become a better person but your kids are with you yes uh, my kids, kids are how old already have? I have three kids and four grandchildren you are you have grandchildren yes mm, yeah. I don't have any <laughs> <laughs> she's like what? not yet yes not yet <laughs> oh, yeah, so, you and I, I never thought that I could even um, be able to change the way I raise my kids because before when I raise my kids I yell at them you know I use authority over them and so they, the tendency is to rebel they will yes uh, yell back or or you know try to um, um, what do you call this disrespect me but then w I try to, to change them but then God changed me first and then when they saw the change in me it was just automatic I didn't have to change them so not the, the words. Yeah, it's the, it's the, the change. Has, the change has to start within us. Mm -hmm. So if you have problems with your kids, also, the change has to start with us, talaga. And mm -hmm. then it's automatic. Wala ka na, you don't have to do anything anymore. Yeah, they see. Yeah, they, they you see walk your, your talk. And, yeah, you walk your talk. Yeah. So if okay, if I can just end with a prayer. Mm -hmm. Yes, just, definitely. Uh, yeah. So very this prayer is just very simple. It's just really to acknowledge that we need Jesus, and that you're opening your heart to him so that you will receive him and then i promise you life will never be the same after that yeah. it's not a religion it's just really acknowledging that jesus is Lord. because some religion does not acknowledge jesus as god they see god as uh, and they prophet see jesus only. as only as yeah. a prophet right. yeah but but jesus said you have god said you have to acknowledge my son mm -hmm. he was the one who died for Okay. okay, let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Um dear God, we thank you, Lord, for this um um this afternoon, Lord, for just orchestrating our trip and for me, Lord God, to be used by you, Lord, to share the good news about your son Jesus Christ. And Lord, I pray for each one of them, Lord, that they will experience you in a very, very supernatural way. So you might just want to pray with me. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, I admit that I'm a sinner. 
and I cannot change apart from you. I now open my heart to you and receive you, Jesus, as my Lord and Savior. From this day on, I want to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. So, so much, Malu. That's that's it. If you if you have received him sincerely in your heart, he's gonna be there and he will and he promises us not he will never leave us nor forsake us. 